This is how I would learn to code in the shortest time possible if I could start over. For context, I've been a software engineer at a fun company for almost four years now. And many people ask me for advice on how to become a successful software engineer and get a job at a big tech company. And the truth is that all you need to become a software engineer in 2024 is a laptop and a roadmap of steps that you can follow. And this is exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to give you a series of steps that you can follow in order to become a software engineer in the shortest time possible. As a software engineer, you're expected to have knowledge on three things, front-end, back-end, and DevOps. After some years in the industry, you'll become an expert in one of these three areas, but every company will expect you to have at least some basic knowledge in all three areas. So let's get started with front-end. Front-end is the part of a website or applications that users interact with directly. It includes the visual aspects and user interface elements, such as buttons, text, images, navigation menus, and more. First, you wanna learn HTML to understand how the structure of a website works. Then you're gonna learn CSS in order to make that structure look good with some styling and then you're gonna learn javascript to make that website interactive but the interesting thing is that people don't just use javascript by itself they use a framework to build user interfaces if your goal is to get a job you should probably learn react because it's the most popular but there's plenty more that you can choose from okay so that takes care of the front end but in order to build an app you will also need a back end so the back end is the part of the website or application that runs behind the scenes it handles data storage business logic and other services side operations. First, you'll have to learn Node.js and understand how HTTP and APIs work on the internet. And then another useful thing that you'll have to learn is SQL, which is used in order to retrieve and insert data from databases. Now, with this knowledge, you've pretty much built your first application, but in order to make this application available for other people to use, you'll have to learn some DevOps basics. DevOps is short for Development and Operations, and it's a set of practices that focus on managing infrastructure, deploying and maintaining applications. This is an area of software development that is often forgotten, but it's actually a pretty crucial one, especially in big tech companies, in order to make your software available into a production setting. For this, you'll need to get familiar with cloud resources like AWS or Microsoft Azure, and then you'll have to learn about containers. Containers are a way to package up code and all of its dependencies, so you can then run that code anywhere you want. In order to create containers, you'll be using Docker, and you will use Kubernetes to run and manage those containers. Now that you have a roadmap of steps that you can follow, you know what to learn. But I didn't actually tell you how to learn it. And the most important advice that I can give you is to learn by doing. You can't expect to just watch three hours of videos on web development and then assume you'll be able to code your first website on your first try right away. That's like watching a pianist play for hours and then sitting down yourself and expecting to be able to play just as well. You need to put in the hours and practice a lot. And at first nothing will make sense and you'll have to Google a lot in order to understand things, but that's the beauty of the job. In fact, I still Google many things and that means that you're learning, it means that you're progressing. So don't get discouraged by that. And if you're the sort of person that just gives up after the first try, then probably this career is just not for you. You need a lot of resilience and patience and love for the craft in order to become a software engineer. So if you're just expecting it to be an easy thing, it's not gonna be an easy path, but it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day. Now, if you're part of that minority that wants to go down this path and put in the reps, then I've got something for you. I've done quite a lot of searching of courses that will make the most of your time and money, and that will teach you everything from zero knowledge to landing your first job as a software engineer. And the best one I've seen so far is the software development course by Course Careers. This course takes about three to nine months to complete and it gets you from zero coding knowledge to landing your first job. And the best thing is that it will teach you all the technical knowledge that I just mentioned in my roadmap so you don't need to worry about anything at all. And Course Careers will also help you build a portfolio of work and search for jobs and it teaches you skills that are essential for interviewing like data structure and algorithms. And in fact for students living in the US or Canada there's even a network of companies that are ready to interview and hire the top students of the course. The way it's structured is in two parts. First, you'll do the fundamentals course that will teach you the core programming concepts, and then you'll pick one out of three specializations on backend, frontend, and DevOps. And this specialization is also included in the price, so you don't need to worry about paying extra money for that. And it's also great for people that are already experienced in programming because they
they can just take the specialization course and learn advanced content on those areas. Of course, it also includes quizzes, practice exams, and a final exam that gives you a real evaluation on whether you're actually career ready or not. They will also provide coaching along the way, they will review your code and give you feedback on it. So they really guide you through this journey. And there's even a Discord server where you can meet other students and make some friends. And what's really cool is that the course actually starts off with a completely free module. So check out the link in the description down below in order to watch the first module completely for free. And I'm sure you will get a ton of value even if you don't actually end up buying the course. In any case, if you decide to make this investment in your career, with the link below, you'll get a $50 discount. Course Careers will help you reach your goal in a few months. And it also has a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied with the course for any reason, you can always get your money back. This is your opportunity to get to your goal. I'm giving you the roadmap, so just do it. Now, if you followed my advice and you learned by doing, then by this time, you'll have a portfolio of work that you can show to companies. It's important to have a portfolio as a programmer because it shows that you actually know how to code. And it acts as a proof to employers that you can actually do what you say that you can do. So this is a non-negotiable. And the place where programmers showcase their code is GitHub. You might have heard of it before. There's all their alternatives as well, but this is the most popular one. And it's a platform that allows programmers to manage and share their code. The idea is that every coding project that you do, you put it on GitHub, and then on the top of your resume, you will add a link to your GitHub profile so recruiters can check how good or bad your code actually is. Once you have your portfolio ready, it's time for your first interview. How are you gonna prepare for that? Usually interviews at PAN companies have two parts. One of them is behavioral questions, that is based on your experience, and then there's a coding interview part. In order to prepare for the coding interview, you will need to read this book called Cracking the Coding Interview. It will teach you the basics of big O notation, data structures, and algorithms. And the best way to practice for these interviews is to practice out loud. So you wanna solve the problem and see what you're doing while you're doing it, not just thinking on your head. Because in the interviewing day, that's what's gonna happen, right? What the interviewer is actually trying to do is trying to understand how you think. So you really wanna practice in this setting in order to become good at that. Okay, so I just gave you the roadmap of how I would start my career as a software engineer if I could start over. It's not gonna be an easy road, but I can tell you for sure that it's gonna be worth the effort. Remember that all the content that I mentioned in this video is taught in depth in the software development course by Course Careers. So make sure to check the link in the description down below for a $50 discount on the course. As always, I'm rooting for you and I will see you in the next one.